Organic substances include more than just hydrocarbons. When carbon combines with other elements, it creates whole new groups of compounds. Chemists are exploring the wide range of properties in these compounds. Organic compounds containing elements other than carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbon derivatives. They come in a wide variety of combinations. Hydrocarbon derivatives contain different functional groups that make them unique. Halocarbons are hydrocarbon derivatives that have a halogen atom as its functional group. Atoms from the halogen group take the place of hydrogen atoms. CHCl3 has a structure similar to methane, but three chlorine atoms have replaced three of the hydrogen atoms to make trichloromethane. Its name follows the pattern for hydrocarbons. Trichloral means three chlorine atoms, meth indicates one carbon atom, and ane specifies single bonds. This compound is known as chloroform, a chemical widely used as a solvent and once used as an anesthetic. Most halocarbons have a continuous chain structure with carbon atoms forming the framework of the molecule. A hydroxyl functional group contains an atom of oxygen and hydrogen. It replaces hydrogen atoms in hydrocarbons to form the hydrocarbon derivative alcohol. The chemical names of a molecule classified as an alcohol end in the suffix all. Methanol is the simplest of the alcohol group. Alcohols are also named like hydrocarbons. Meth signifies one carbon atom, an indicates single bonds, and ol labels it an alcohol. Methanol is also known as wood alcohol and is a very dangerous substance. Drinking it can cause blindness or even death. Another type of alcohol is ethanol. Ethanol has two carbon atoms and can be blended with gasoline to make cleaner burning fuel for cars. Ether is a hydrocarbon derivative that contains the ether functional group. This functional group contains oxygen bonded to two carbon atoms. Ethers were one of the first anesthetics used in modern medicine and they are a gasoline additive as well. The carbonyl functional group contains an oxygen atom that forms a double covalent bond with a carbon atom. Aldehydes and ketones contain a carbonyl functional group and are found in plastics and adhesives. Occasionally, in a carbonyl group, two oxygen atoms bond to the same carbon atom. Compounds with this type of molecular configuration can be carboxylic acids or esters. Other compounds are produced when carbon combines with nitrogen. As with amines and amides. Organic polymers are molecules with a backbone of carbon atoms. Many hydrocarbons are polymers, but not all polymers are hydrocarbons. Polymers can also combine with oxygen, fluorine, nitrogen, silicon, phosphorus, and sulfur. They are made up of subunits called monomers, which form long chains to make larger molecules containing thousands or even millions of atoms. Long chains of polymers give structural strength to plants and tree trunks and stems of flowers. And scientists have created synthetic polymers, or what we call plastic. Bakelite, the first synthetic polymer, was invented in 1907. Modern plastics have been chemically engineered for weight, strength, and color, and they are familiar in many common products, including children's toys, home furnishings, and automobile parts. Plastics are revolutionary products, but their widespread use has created problems. Because the molecular bonds of polymers are very strong, plastic doesn't biodegrade easily. Its waste is accumulating at an alarming rate as the demand for it grows. 
The future will depend on finding new ways to dispose of and use one of the most common elements on Earth, carbon.